The Chinese want our civilization dead. They want to see our cities and beaches full of corpses and devastation. The Chinese want to mess with the greater Ottoman Empire. But it was us who broke the walls of Constantinople, conquered the unconquerable city and destroyed the Byzantine Empire. It was us who fought our way up to the gates of Vienna. And it was us who bled our enemies dry in Gallipoli. We will easily be the ones to protect our civilization, our empire and our identity from the Chinese tyrant. We are not afraid of death. We will die proudly for our empire if necessary. We are the victim and we will defend our home. We find ourselves here at a crossroad in human history. As the sole remaining superpower alongside the United States, China has an obligation to ensure that tyranny and unilateral military action cannot stand. We, alongside our friends in Japan, attempted to negotiate a peaceful resolution over the Okinawa base. I would ask everyone gathered here today what you would do if there was an island off of your coastline that had nuclear warheads pointed at your capital. China will be joining this war directly on the side of the Kurdish people who continue to fight on bravely against the occupying forces within their territory. Let this war stand as a testament to China's commitment to global peace and to standing up for the rights of everyone, regardless of how small they are. China does not like a bully, and we will not allow the Turks to bully the world. Mr. Obama, I, I do hope that uh, the United States is fully ready for this war. As you know, the Chinese people did not want this situation, and we still stand ready to de-escalate if the Turks are willing to pull out of Okinawa. Have you heard anything from President Erdogan? Nope. He does not wish to talk to me. Uh, same here. Last time we talked with him, he made it very clear that he wants this war. I don't blame him. He has strong allies and that he managed to convince Russia and India to fight us. Is there anything else we can do to help you? I don't think there's anything else. I do appreciate everything. President Obama, we'll speak soon. Gentlemen, today, we fight for the future of China. These nations, they wish to destroy us. They know we are stronger than them. They know the economic strength of China is unmatched. So they do the only thing weak nations do. Fight a war. When we win this war, when we drive them to Delhi, to Moscow, and to Ankara, it will spell the beginning of a new age of world history. A Chinese age, a Chinese century, and a Chinese future. Remember, when you fight, that you are fighting for our history, for your families, and for the future of China. Syrian, let's go. Yeah, they're blind. They're blind in the West. We're going to take massive encirclement. Easy. Okinawa, day one. No defense there. Russia's convoys are being sunk across the area. They're breaking. Uh, my 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 tanks are uh, flattening. Uh, yeah, they're trying to pop last stand. It's not working for them. Russia's lost its air superiority over far e eastern Russia. Our first adaptable general. Breakthrough, breakthrough, breakthrough. Yeah, USR, the Abrams are put. Oh, yes, go. Oh, we have zero fuel, guys, just so you know. Can you, can, you get that, can you get that handle? Get us fuel right now. Yep. In Come on. Yeah, look at that. We got it, we got it, the port. We got the port. Go, 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 go. Get through there. There we go, there we go. Finish it, finish it. Oh, yeah! Push up. Abrams, go. Remember, you're getting free health care for every Russian tank you capture. Sixteen division encirclement. Congratulations, four, gentlemen. Four, four, thousand, uh, four thousand American jets are just landed. Oh, one more year until Ham gets drafted. 
Well, they just fucked up. They just fucked up. Hey, hey, guys, 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 look. I'm about to get the railway. They've got no guards on the railway. There it is. There it is. Their supplies cut off. Just go for pockets. Yep. They'll run out of fuel. Through that pocket in the north. They're all weaving thingy. There you go. They're slaughtering them. They're trying to get them out with convoys. They managed to get their divisions out somehow. I think that we sunk most of them. There's Turks in there. Do you need any more troops in, in your front? Because I've got a lot to spare right now. General. Well, it seems that we're holding all fronts, so. Very well. Do with them as you may. I'm going to set up a naval invasion of the Andaman Islands. If we can get that port, that would be huge. My tanks break. My tanks are punching through his tanks. Oh, we're breaking through. Moment of truth. Here we go. This is if we can get this, this is going to be absolutely massive. I don't know if he's going to garrison this properly or not. Just, uh... I didn't get a fleet there. Can we get a fleet up there? America, get your fleet off the coastline of the oh, Andamans. Yeah. If you can give me, if you can give me naval bombardment, we got it. Just to also say, the U.S. has recommissioned the uh, USS Iowa to give you fire support. There it is. There it is. The Andamans are falling. Twenty convoys sunk. Naval engagement. The Indian Navy has backed off. They've backed off. I think they've realized we've got superior numbers. Yep. Well, we can launch a naval invasion now. Let's start getting prepared for that. I'm Naval engagement, you've engaged their fleet. The fleet's gone. Oh, that fleet's gone. Oh, USS. Oh, there it is. Oh, the US. Uh, they're pushing into Tibet. How did they get through? Push across, cut them off before they cut us. Oh, we need more American planes up in Western China right now. I, I can't. I think I can with aircraft, but yeah, yeah, I can get your guys' infant stuff to move. We've got green air over Western China. Uh, your tactics ain't gonna work anymore. Uh, I know what they're doing. Bingo does jump. What? We got it. We got to take this. If we take this, India's out. Well, the India should seek a peace agreement. Push the coastline. Push the coastline. Short bombardment. Uh, U.S. forces is landing in uh, India. They've, they've pulled out of Western China, and as anticipated, they've cowed away. I'm making a big play here. You ready? Encirclement, encirclement, encirclement! India's running out of, India is running out of convoys. Oh, okay. Oh. Are you pushing with all your divisions? We'll need all of them. Yeah, yeah, India's down to the la India's down to the last 300 convoys. Greetings. 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 Uh, the CCP is in agreement. There's been a lot of calls for an ending of this war domestically in China, as the economy has felt it heavily and the loss of lives have grown exorbitant. But I will reiterate, China cannot agree to any peace deal that does not involve the removal of Turkish troops in Okinawa permanently. The Ottoman Empire would like to propose with our allies together a peace deal that could suit all groups here. The Ottoman Empire will leave the Okinawa base and will give it to Japan. The Ottoman Empire will annex the American Bahrain base since we conquered it in the war. And we request from the Chinese that China recognizes the Ottoman borders as they are right now.
China stop supporting will not Chinese. recognize the borders. You have annexed this region. We are willing to end this war in order to stop Chinese loss of life, but under no circumstance will we acknowledge the regions that you have unilaterally conquered in the Middle East. That is a non-starter. China would also like to hear in this peace conference that Turkey, now that it has taken a significant amount of its old holdings, will no longer uh, annex nations within the Middle East like this. First of all, it's the Ottoman Empire now and not Turkey, and please come to our recent times and accept the fate. As I said, the only thing that I want for my people is the Bahrain base and that you recognize our borders. I think that it's kind of harming our peace talks when you demand something uh, from the Ottoman Empire. A demand? I am making a very simple request is that you not annex nations within the Middle East. Why should we limit the possibilities of our nation? Maybe something will happen for our national sovereignty. Maybe we need to take action someday. So should we sell our soul just to make you happy? The sovereignty of my nation is above all and I will not limit that's a bit harming our peace talks, I guess. I suppose, uh, but it's also very peace, harming to uh, hear that you have a something. desire to continue to conquer nations within the Middle East. This war happened because uh, China wants the Chinese world order. They want to dictate other nations what they can do and what they can't do. They want to expand their influence about all of the world. And they don't want other powers rising. That's the reason why this war started. They wanted to see our empire and our people die. But we defended ourselves bravely with our allies and we are able to still continue our defense. As I said that I annexed the Bahrain base and I show all of you that I am happy to um, cooperate, that I am, that I have nothing against the Okinawa base, that I will give it back to Japan, I have nothing against it. That's a show of uh, willing to compromise and to cooperation. The only thing that I want is that China recognizes our borders because otherwise we will not recognize China as a state anymore. So the Russian Federation uh, joined this war because we we are defending uh, the Ottoman Empire from Chinese aggression to keep world order afloat to to kind of um, counter the threat of a Chinese world order. In this war we have no demands uh, in terms of territory from China though we demand that China is retreating from all of Siberia and will uh, uh, will we reclaim or like that we reclaim our former borders as well we demand reparations from China for the reckless um, destruction of Siberia and especially for Vostok. one billion should be sufficient United States United States uh, one, no, billion? 100, one trillion I'm sorry can, can I also demands... ask that the Russian divisions in India please stop breaking the ceasefire uh... we will pull out however if China does not accept our demands. Uh, we will not pull out Xinjiang and we will make a, a state out of Xinjiang. I, I think many people here are, are just going to sit on their soapbox and pretend this situation is different than it is. If you want to write your history books subjectively and with your own perspectives, that is fine. But I want to remind everyone gathered here today that China is not the aggressor here. We joined the war on the side of the Kurdish people in Iraq who were brutally uh, invaded. We started, uh, we, we involved ourselves in this war also due to the fact that the Turks had uh, bought Okinawa from Japan and in good faith told them it would be a trading port and then turned it into a military base wherein they placed nuclear warheads and pointed at Beijing. I would suggest to all the gathered delegates today that if you had an island off of your coastline next to your capital with nuclear warheads pointed against you, you would have reacted similar to we, how we do. We attempted every means we could to try and have a diplomatic discussion, and as such, any territorial concessions uh, or reparations are off the table and a non-starter for China. If you wish to hold on to Zanjing, uh, we will hold on to Siberia. If you wish to annex Pakistan, we'll hold on to Calcutta. If, you, if, if the delegates here today would like to be unreasonable with the CCP, we will be unreasonable back. Uh, due to the unpopularity of this war and the rising power of the conservatives, even in prison, calling for a ceasefire, we are happy to come to the bargaining table and try and end this conflict. But to suggest reparations, territorial concessions, or anything else is a non-starter, and China will uh, be leaving this discussion table if we cannot get those out of a peace deal. Excuse me, but I have the feeling that China doesn't want the peace and I'm not may forced I, to I am just unwilling to do I'm unreasonable treating. pieces. The CCP will not be humiliated when Everything we are winning the war. Everything that you offer us sir, is unreasonable sir, for us, sir, and yet we sit here. I would ask you 
Right. It's Mr. Erdogan for you. It's the Grand Vizier of the Ottoman <laughs> Empire. And I have Mister, Mister, much I more to do you. than sitting here around with the people that Mister, want to see Mister, the Ottoman Empire, speak, Russia and India die. But Mr. Mediator, thank you for all of your efforts, but the Ottoman Empire will leave the talks now after My several concern. insults. From the Chinese side, um, Russia can participate, but if needed, we will fight alone. We will leave these talks. Thank you very much. In the end, the Turks managed to encircle the Chinese army in eastern India. But with the war being lost in Russia, Indian and Turkish shipping completely shut off and unable to maintain their economies, peace was negotiated. Granting concessions on both sides, China agreed to allow Iraq to be annexed, as well as recognize the borders of the Ottoman Empire. China was given Okinawa base as well as war reparations from the Russians and Indians. For such an inconclusive war, the cost was immense on both sides, with the final numbers totaling well over the millions as well as civilian lives lost or damaged. A modern war should not have happened, and one would hope a lesson would be learned, but history repeats itself endlessly. In the post-war period, China and the United States continued to cooperate, forging deep ties that in the end strengthened both. The camaraderie of war makes for lasting alliances, and both countries fought hard to maintain them. The Chinese economy would likely eventually recover but it of course takes time. This is the conclusion of this Chinese Millennium Dawn roleplay series. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and want to see more. I hope you liked watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. I really felt I was able to learn a lot about making videos and for the first time since I made this channel am content with a complete series I have made. It took me a while to figure out what I wanted to do with content creation and this channel. Making story-based roleplay series like this is incredibly rewarding and enjoyable, both in recording and turning into videos. I appreciate all the support I've gotten from you all along the way. It's cool to be able to make something you enjoy and have people actually watch it. The next William Dunn series like this will be for the United States, so keep an eye out for that soon. Or if you're watching this later, it's probably linked here already. If you have other nations you want to see me play, whether in William Dawn or something else, let me know in the comments. See y'all next time.